Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, first of all, I want to tell the ones of you that have been uh, sending me messages and asking how we made it through the flood. We did. We did well. I got about three inches of water in my sunroom, which is an add-on on the back of our house. It's like 16 by 48, but it covered the entire sunroom and then the mudroom that joins it to the house. And I had three rugs. One of them I just love so much it has roosters on it. They all got wet, but my husband got them uh, lifted up with fans blowing under them and some we got outside and the sunshine. I mean, one day we had a burn ban. Then, then this this uh, tropical thing moved in and in 12 hours we got 25 inches of rain here. Other areas got more than that. So what can you expect when it comes down and the ground's hard and it takes it a little bit to soak in? That being said, the good Lord was with us. I feel sorry for the people. There are people 15 miles from us down at the Kingwood area that have flooded. This is their third time since Hurricane Harvey two years ago. We're having these freak flash floods and the ground can't handle it. So anyway, here on our little piece of property, we're all good and uh, just thought I would answer your questions. And I'm fixing to get started on another good video. Now there's a Mexican place down, Mexican food place at Humble that I like to go to and it's called Lupe Tortillas. And they always have had the best salsa fresca. And um, they stopped having it. If you get that now, you have to pay 50 cents for a little dish of it. They have the whizzed up kind, but I liked their fresh. So I was able to get their recipe or one very similar, and I'm going to share that with y'all today. It's good with just chips to dip it, and it's wonderful with pinto beans in the, at their restaurant. When you uh, sit down to order, they bring you your drink, water, or whatever you order, and they would bring you a dish of this and a dish of the pinto beans, the uh, churro beans. Well, by the time your food got there, you weren't real hungry because you can't resist those beans and salsa. So anyway, it's delicious with the beans. But I'm going to make it. Y'all can choose what you use it for, but you really need to make it and try it. It's very, very yummy. So I'm going to bring you down close where you can watch. I'm going to be using my Nimco chopper. Y'all seen me use it before, and I told you, Troy's bought me lots of kitchen gadgets, but this is absolutely one of my favorites. I'm not OCD really, but I do like stuff chopped pretty well the same size, and this just does it perfectly, and everything's pretty. So uh, let me get the camera down here, and y'all can watch me whiz this up because it doesn't take. Now you're going to want about four or five big tomatoes. I think I use six Romas, and you can see they're the bigger ones. And I've already started chopping, but I'm going to do the rest of my tomatoes. See how easy this is? And they all come out in little quarter inch pieces. I just love it. I've already done most of the onion, but I just slice the onions. And then I'm going to put them on here. Sometimes you have to whop it twice, but it'll go through and chop them. I seeded the jalapenos. It's one white onion. And I've used two bigger jalapenos and seeded them. Got another couple of pieces of tomato to do. Okay, then I needed some um, cilantro and garlic. So I did it in my Tupperware, uh, I think this is called the Power Chef. Because it'll just mince it to just nearly nothing. So let me get my spatula and get this in here. It was about 10 sprigs of uh, cilantro and I did the stems and all. There's a lot of flavor in the stems because this will mince them up and you'll never know you're having a stem instead of a leaf. And it was two nice sized garlic cloves. I'm going to put the juice of a half a lime in it, and I may add the other half. I'm going to see what it's like. Let me stir this up a little bit.
Now, when I go to Lupe Tortillas, they have some purple onion in theirs and some green onion blades. And I may add some green onion blades here in a minute. I'm going to taste it and see what i got going on. But I think that's more for color than the difference of the flavor. Lately, all the purple onions that I've bought, or red onions, whatever you want to call them, they've been hot. They're not sweet like they used to be. Now I'm adding in a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a uh, fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and about a teaspoon of onion powder just because. And I will read y'all again a list of ingredients at the end. And I've had some people that have uh, messaged me wanting recipes. If y'all are had your internet slow, you're having trouble getting the ingredients down, if you'll email me, my email is always below and put apron strings in the subject. I will send you the recipe, and I'm going to be real honest with why I'm not posting, by typing them up below. Um, I'm trying to build this channel, and there are so many people who will just click on it, scroll down and see if there's a recipe, grab the recipe and not watch. And I need you to watch it as well as get the recipe and use it. So until my channel grows, I'm not going to be posting the recipes down below. You have to watch the video to get the recipes. I'm sorry if y'all think I'm being tacky, but you know, that's what it's all about. I'm spending my time, and I'm spending a lot of money on the food that I'm making. And yes, I'm enjoying it, and yes, we're eating it, and I'm sharing it with the kids. But I want uh, to know that people are watching the videos and using the recipes. So I'm not going to make it real easy to just grab it and ruin but I will tell y'all here in a little bit what's in it. I'm going to get me a spoon and taste of this. I want a few turns of black pepper in it. Do any of y'all quilt and are any of y'all planning to go to the International Quilt Festival in Houston? the end of October, 1st of November. I'm going to be down there one or two days, so message me if you're going to be there. Maybe we could meet. That would be fun. I don't really quilt, but I sew. I like to make one-of-a-kind jackets, and I always get neat ideas and, of course, gadgets down there. Besides that, I see people that I only see at quilt shows, so that is... Uh, that's the highlight of the fall, one of them for me. I love to go down there. Get a spoon and taste of this. Get some of all of it. I think it needs the rest of the lime juice. Well, I have the neatest little thing that squeezes these, but I couldn't find which cabinet I put it in, so I had to do it. Yep, I think that's just about right. Oh my goodness, y'all. Here's the salsa fresca or the pico de gala, whatever you want to call it, and it is ready to enjoy. Now this little dish, if you all are interested, and of course, again, I have no affiliation, but I get questions about stuff. Right now, in the lakeside, oh my goodness, y'all. Here's the salsa fresca or the pico de gala, whatever you want to call it, and it is ready to enjoy. Now this little dish, if you all are interested, and of course again I have no affiliation, but I get questions about stuff. Right now in the lakeside, and I don't know what the other name is, just I guess you could look up lakeside. Anyhow, it's a catalog that comes, and the name of it's lakeside, and they've got all kinds of stuff in there and these come in sets of two in red or the cream and tan you can order them and they're so handy to put soup in with your cornbread around the edges or crackers i use them a lot i think they're two for 9.99 maybe but uh just an idea if you're interested where you can, lakeside collection that's what the name of it is so you can google that and ask for a catalog or probably shop online but um, inexpensive pretty cool little things they've got in there Anyway, uh, just a minute and I'll let y'all 
watch me taste some of this good stuff. It's as good as Lupe tortillas, and I made it at home. Okay, y'all, I'm going to taste of this because I've been wanting some of it, and I hadn't been down to the restaurant lately, and I figured I could make it and save a little bit of money and have all I want. Here it is. Mm-mm-mm. It's real good with tacos and tamales and pinto beans and enchiladas. Yeah, it kind of speaks that language. I'm so glad y'all came back to visit today. And in the midst of making this, I had a fun visit on the phone, texting, with uh, a friend from when I was a kid years ago, Susie Cecil. We have got, we made us some plans for some fun times. See, connect with your friends. Do some one-on-one. -on -one. Um, share your life's events. Catch up if it's been a while since you visited. And, you know, have some real contact with people. I can't wait to see her again to give me a big old hug. That's just what life's all about. That's how you share. That's how you reach out. That's how you bond and make lifetime connections that when you see each other again, you pick up where you left off. The first music concert I ever went to was with their family and it was to hear the singing Rambos. They were a gospel group that I was in love with and I still love their singing. Anyway, enough my history. Thank y'all so much for coming in the kitchen today and thank you Connie for telling Susie about my channel. All my friends. I love my friends. Um, and I'll probably see you at Quilt Show, huh? Anyway, y'all uh, have a good day. Do something fun. Talk to somebody you hadn't talked to in a while. And let me tell you, it'll lift your spirits. Get over there and make a good supper for your family. You got plenty of time. And if it's too late today that you're watching, then plan tomorrow. There's always another day, we hope. But make this one count, because we don't have a promise of tomorrow. Don't forget to turn those devices off and spend your supper time t uh, at the supper table, your time well spent enjoying each other instead of uh, holding a phone or an iPad. Y'all come right back here tomorrow and we're going to have something else good. I'm on a marathon today. I'm going to film several videos and partly because I need some free days to finish cleaning up after the storm. Y'all won't see them but a day at a time but I'm going to be in the kitchen all day today. The good Lord bless y'all and I'll see you tomorrow.